uh, Georgia's quarterback, Stetson Bennett, hasn't really been known as a runner much in his career, but we've seen him do some of that this year. What what level of, of running threat is he? Um, yeah, uh, Stetson, his game itself, you know, he's a playmaker. You know, he can beat you with his legs, beat you throwing the ball. You know, overall, he's just – he's a playmaker. So, you know, we got to be prepared for, you know, him scrambling, him throwing, the whole nine. Page. I've seen that Saturday was probably the most complimentary defense that you all have played this season. What led to that and how important is it to maintain it as you continue the season? Yeah, I think what led to it is just, you know, our preparation throughout the week. You know, I feel like we had a you know, great Tuesday and Wednesday practice. You know, um, we were very detailed in our preparation. You know, I think that's what led to the f performance we had. And, you know, just doing the same thing, you know, preparing the same way, having great practices today and tomorrow. And so that will lead to, you know, Saturday. Vince? Aaron, you guys as a defense got the three interceptions in the game, all guys getting their first career interceptions, including Jawan. What was that like to kind of keep feeding off you guys getting those turnovers? Yeah, man, that's big. That, that gives us a lot of juice, the whole defense, man. We're out there making plays. We're obviously out there having fun, you know. That just that, that ups our, you know, our, 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 feel, our confidence and, you know, just our play itself. Wes, and Mike, and then Patrick. Aaron, in terms of, you know, the, there's been – Games where you've been able to get a whole bunch of tackles. There's been games where Banks has been able to do it. Now Jawan was able to go out there and get a bunch of tackles in a game. What led to to him doing that? Was the ball just finding him, or was he just making more plays? Or when y'all watch film, what'd you see? Yeah, I think we just um, like I said, getting better each and every week, um, honing in on the details, preparing, um, watching film. You know, just having uh, great practices. I think that's what you know led to us making plays this past weekend. Um, I got kind of a, a two-parter. One, how did the, I guess, in general terms, just overarching the defense change from the, the previous staff to this staff? How did, how did that change things up in there? And then two, obviously there's a lot of talk about the, the Georgia tight ends. If you could kind of give us your quick read on, on Zero and Bowers. What was that first part of your question? Um, how the defense changed from the previous coaching staff and uh -huh. the staff from the, the big change in the scheme and then breaking down the two tight ends. Yeah, I, the main thing between the two defenses, I would have to say um, just the last defense was a lot more complex, had a lot, a lot more nuances to it, a lot more checks to it and, and that nature of things. Um, as far as the tight ends and uh, that goes, you know, they're, they're pretty talented. You know, I feel like one of the better groups in the, in the uh, nation. <clears throat> um, it would be a big uh, challenge for us. Uh, Aaron, when uh, Coach John Marie was just in here and talking about you guys sort of building a wall as being a reason you guys have been good against the run. For you guys, you hear a lot of talk about gap, <coughs> discipline, being in the right gap. How, how do you guys get good at that? Is that just instincts? Is it scheme and being able to recognize? And, and kind of what's the combination of, of being good at that? I feel like um, watching a lot of film, um, getting the game reps, even the practice reps, you know, just seeing it and feeling it. You know, once you get in the game, it's, it's like second nature once you see it. Just fitting it like you would, like you've been doing. Austin. Awesome. Like any Tennessee team, you got a lot of Georgia kids, and you're one of them. You get to go home, home state. I'm sure you have some friends there, family. Mm -hmm. um, how, how big, how important is this game for you and, and the rest of these Georgia kids? And then uh, you're an old running back. If you had gotten that interception Saturday, do you, th you think you house it instead of Juwan running out of bounds or getting pushed out of bounds? <laughs> Yeah, you know, this is obviously a big game for us. This is the next one for us, SEC game. Um, yeah, personally, it's big. You know, I'm from Georgia, obviously. And I feel like a lot of the um, Georgia kids on the team feel the same way. But, you know, we want to treat it like another game, another SEC game, road game. You know, we want to prepare the same, go out there and have some fun. Eric? BJ said that he doesn't believe the defensive line has been getting enough credit so far this season. Would you agree with him? And if so, how easy have they kind of been making your job here lately? Yeah, man, when you have D-line playing like ours been playing, you know, it makes the linebacker job ten times easier, you know. I feel like the, our D-line, you know, took a huge step from last year to this year. You know, they're getting a lot of push, a lot of knockback, and, you know, they're playing vertical. So, you know, that's big for us. That helps us play free and lets us flow. Take two more. Wes, you're next. Aaron, was, was there a time either going into the season or, or maybe the pit game or, or some other time during the year when, when you realized, okay, like this defense is going to be better? 
like it, there's still a lot of work to do, but this looks better than it did last year. Yeah, most definitely. You know, I've, I have confidence in all the guys who, who are out there that play on our defense. You know, um, obviously it's, it's a long season. We want to get better as each week goes. Um, so, you know, that's, that's the main thing for us, just getting better every time we're out there on the field. Anything else for Aaron? All right, thanks, Aaron. Appreciate you. Appreciate you.